Hey, this is Taylor with a follow-up video to my content container abuse video and really how to fix it in your PowerPoint presentations, making sure that you are getting to happy hour. Now in the first video, we talked about the content container abuse in the normal view, which I'll put a little thumbnail up there if you missed it. Here I wanna talk about the slide master view or what I call the dark side of your presentation. So it's that dark and scary place that not a lot of people wanna to go to. And the reason that this is important again is because if this is your company template right now, all right, and these are all of the slides that people are building using your company template. If you have a content container abuse and it's done improperly, each one of the preceding decks that someone builds their slide decks off of needs to be fixed. Whereas if you just get this right in the first place, boom, 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 all of your formatting scales. The issue here is that most people, and I'm not pointing fingers here, have no idea how to spot check to see if this is done correctly in their decks, which is why it's really kind of up to you to keep your eye open for this even if the company PowerPoint template is not your job, all right? Even if this is not your job, I recommend knowing how to spot check this and fix it in your own company deck and in your client's deck. So let's flip to PowerPoint and take a look. And here in PowerPoint with some content containers that I've basically massacred here, um, let's go to the dark side of your presentation and fix it. So from the view tab, all right, you just wanna to navigate to the slide master. And the problem with my content placeholders, if I come to the parent slide, which is where you wanna drive all of this from, notice that my levels of text all look the same. So even so it says second level, third level, fourth level, fifth level, this is really all just level one text. You can tell, because if I select some text and I italicize it, control I, notice that it all changes, control B for bold, et cetera. So what's happened here is someone has deleted the bullets instead of adjusting them. And that's my big, big tip for you. So let's just start from scratch slide master tab I'm gonna insert a slide master and you can see this is how when you're first building your template your content placeholders are gonna start so these are unabused content placeholders and I'll just make the font uh, size 28 so it's easier to see so what's the first thing that people do to mess this up so let me just control B to bold this first level of text the mistake people make here is they backspace and delete this out so they delete once delete twice and they hit enter and notice that even though it says second level text it's still first level text they'll do the same they'll, they won't want a bullet point and they'll bring it like that so that is what's going to mess you up so I'm gonna control Z to undo it which is why when working here on the slide master I recommend not deleting your bullet points at all you want to remove and adjust your bullet points don't delete them so let's say for example we want this to be our level one text let's say that we want it size 36 36 enter let's change the color to red so it's super apparent and I don't want to delete out the bullets instead I'm just gonna come up to the home tab bullets remove the bolt so that's my level one text now to get my second level of text let's say that we want it to be italicized so let's italicize it control I all right, we're not gonna delete out the bullet. Again, I recommend just get into the habit. You want to just select none for bullet and you want to use your ruler and drag it over here on the left. This will make sure that our list level shortcuts work correctly, which I'll show you in a second. And let's just leave it at that. So we have level one, level two. For level three, let's say that we do want a bullet point. I'm just going to adjust it here on my ruler. I'm not gonna delete the bullet point. I'm actually gonna change it to a number. This again is doing it correctly or let's, yeah, let's do a number. So level one, again, you can adjust the bullet spacing like that. Level four, let's just do one more. Let's bring it in. Let's say that we don't want this to be a bullet. We now want this to be alphabetical. So we'll do an A. Let's say we want this to be totally different. Let's change it just to make it apparent. Let's change it to an orange color like that. Maybe we'll bold and we'll put an underline on it. So you can see my different levels of formula, level one, level two, level three, level four, and even though I'm not gonna go in format, I have my level five here, which is the default. So that is how to correctly set your content placeholders here on the slide master. Now, if we go to the normal view, right, in my presentation, I'm gonna come to new slide. I'm gonna scroll down to that brand new content placeholder. And here's what it's gonna look like. So here's my level one, which you're just gonna get if I just normally start typing, I'll hit enter type level two. So it's gonna start as level one. Now to get to your list level shortcuts, it's just alt, shift, right arrow. And you can see, all right, if I do left arrow, right arrow, it's gonna pop to level two. I'll hit enter, level three, control, shift, right arrow. There's level three, level four, 
control shift right arrow and you're going to see all of that formatting carries over so that is how to correctly use your content placeholders or to set them up in your slide master so it works here in the normal view the key here is again you want to adjust your bullet points like i just showed you using your ruler and applying your formatting you don't want to delete out the bullets because that's going to most likely change all of your list levels back into list level one so that will ensure that your alt shift right arrow to decrease the list level and alt shift left arrow to increase the list level will work in the normal view. Again, get this correct and all of your company templates or all of the slides that are built off your company template will work perfectly. The formatting will scale. So when you get this right, it's really your formatting will scale across your presentation. When you get this wrong, your formatting will bomb, which if you're the keeper of the deck, it's going to be your late night at the office fixing dumb mistakes, which is why I recommend spot checking this in all of your presentations. Hopefully that helps you out. If this was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. If you have a question, hit me up in the comments section. This again is really the only way I know what kind of content you guys want to see on my YouTube channel. If you're just looking for PowerPoint resources to help get you to happy hour, I will leave some links below in the description box. This is Taylor from Principal Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.